I picture this guitar more as a guitar uh, that's like a 335. It's versatile, it can get a good jazz sound, and it can rock out and blues out all over town. You start with uh, meditation, and then that by the end of the night, you're playing blues and play that funky music, white boy. And it's priced quite nicely. Thank you. 
Want to go over this guitar again, or, or yeah, okay, what it is? Yeah. All right. All yeah, right. I mean, we well, don't have to do it as much in depth as we did last time, but yeah, I mean, all right. at least tell, say what it is. Okay, it's it's 15 inches. It's a D'Angelico Premier SS. Yeah. Okay, 15 inch lower bout, one and a half inches thick, or one and a three quarters. I think that's one and a half. And then it's a 25 inch scale length, one and 11 16th nut width, although it's just a hair bigger than that. 14 inch radius on the fretboard. It's got that uh, Palo Ferro. Pal Ferro. Pal Ferro material for the uh, fretboard, which is a little harder than rosewood, not as hard as ebony. It's got new bone nut, which is a very nice nut. I love that nut. And uh, it's got the um, Robomatic tuners, which are really good tuners. It's got a lot of binding all over the place, mother of pearl. And those tuners, you're, you're really liking those, right? I am. Um, it's got a dual action truss rod, which I'm really liking as well. Sorry, guys. And... Uh, so yeah, it's it's a it's a lot of guitar for the money, and it's a uh, was it listed nine hundred bucks? I think. Wes? Yeah. 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 That's... With a gig bag. Right. Yeah. So last week we had it strung up at front, like it had came with tens. So that's more right. of made for bending and blues and that right. that sort of thing. And now, tell them about the strings that you put on it. You know what? I put my super duper set of strings on it. They're uh, 13, 15, 20, 28, 38, 48, heavy top, skinny bottom, and uh, flat wounds. So they seem to play, uh, be very nice on this. Anyway, um, it's got nice fret, nice fret height. It's got these Supro pickups, ebony knobs. So it's got it's got some it's got some shit going on here. Beep. Um, w one thing that you were talking about last week was you were concerned about the the stop tailpiece yes. and the distance and right. putting the fatter strings on them. Yes. And would they be too tight? So yes. what is the verdict on that? Too tight. So what what is that? Is it make it hard to play? Unco I mean, Just, it ma makes the strings it feel, feel heavier than they are. Not necessarily too heavy. They're just not as floppy. 
So, um, that's all. Um, it would be nice to be able to get it in a trapeze tailpiece for jazz. I picture this guitar more as a guitar uh, that's like a 335. It's versatile, it can get a good jazz sound, and it can rock out and blues out all over town. So it, this, is, this would be a great gigging guitar for the guy that's doing a, doing a gig over at the uh, Sportsman Lodge doing a casual wedding gig, you know, you start with uh, meditation and then that by the end of the night you're playing blues and play that funky music, white boy and all that. So it could rock out and it can also do that and it's priced quite nicely. Shall we play a West song? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to, to say about it. I mean, well, it does have the, you know, it's made in Indonesia. It's got the neck, um, a maple neck with the uh, luthier joint on there, you know, so they can. It's a way that they can save wood, basically. Right. It's got a nice flame on it. Yeah, it looks cool. The binding, um, it's got various, you know, types of binding on there, right? It's yeah. Got like a single ply, ply single on the ply neck. Single ply on the neck, triple on the headstock. Right. Five ply or six ply around the body. Um, so it's very beautiful guitar, I think. Yeah. What's the weight of it? How does it feel weight-wise? Well, for one, it's, it's, it's a little neck heavy, but... Um, um, Weight wise, I I don't know. It's not as much as a Les Paul, I don't think. It's I don't I don't know. So we heard that uh, the the Angelico there, the Premier SS, it was like the smooth jazz sound was good with the uh, affirmation at the beginning of the live stream. But I was saying that it would be great to hear some some more of a bebop thing so yeah let's try out some uh, west montgomery or something okay okay oh yeah we should mention too that that the um you're going straight into the board here so there's right. no no amp coloration it's just a straight signal into our mackie mixing board which usb out into a computer so not much going on other than just a little bit of reverb right yeah so, a little verb, which I don't know how much verb is on there. Sounds good in mind, but sometimes I go back and listen to a replay and I think, God dang, that's too much verb on there. But I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. This is four on six. Get ready, Wes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, there it is. Anyway, um, so yeah, she's all strung up, all ready to go for some jazz playing. So, um, <clears throat> I would be just real quick curious, uh, just maybe to play just some little kind of finger style thing on it. And right. we'll, uh, or a chord melody or something, and I'll kill the mic so we can really, without the track, and really hear the tone quality. Okay, okay. Kill it. All right, here's the. Yeah, so anyway, there it is, a little finger style on this guitar. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.